the day on how to seduce your wife. <laughs> I don't think we should put that on the YouTube channel. No. <laughs> they might cancel my account. Hi and welcome to my channel, Duck Potatoes World. This is my monthly YouTube vlog, Katie's Created to Create. And I'm Katie and have a special co-host today. This is my husband, James, also known as Mr. Duck Potato. <laughs> James? <laughs> I don't like being called Mr. Duck Potato. It's fine. Oh, okay. Mr. Duck Potato. And we are here with the January episode of Created to Create. So you're going to be seeing this on January 1st, 2024 or after. We're actually filming a couple of days in advance, so I have time to edit it and get it put up on YouTube. Um, but Happy New Year for you guys who are watching this in 2024. We're going to start by talking about what we're wearing. I'm wearing a cowl that I knit, I don't know, a while back. This is the Swivel Cowl by Universal Yarns. And you can see it on my Ravelry page. I, it's a Universal Yarn that it's made from, I don't remember the name of the yarn or the color or anything right now. Um, but what I really want to talk to you about is what James is wearing. Do you know what you're wearing? Something about gnomes. <laughs> James is wearing my very first um, pattern, Happy and You Know It. So I That's showed it. you the blue version that I was wearing last month. This is the two-tone version. He chose red and gray. And it is in Stolen Stitches Newest Sport yarn, and it has the same beads as my blue one. But yeah, this is the two-tone version. So if you are interested in knitting this hat, it is available for sale as of right now on Ravelry. It is a $5 pattern. I love it. Your man will love it. It fits great. It, and there's one size that it's very stretchy and lightweight because y'all, this is Texas, and it just ain't that cold. So it's the same exact hat that he wears with his 23 inch head and I wear with my 20 inch head and it fits us both. So yeah, I have a blue one, he has a, a red and gray one. Um, as far as finished objects go, I have of course my second Happy and You Know It hat. And then I also have another pattern out called the Beadless Gnome and it is the same hat but knit without the beads. And instead of a tassel, it just has a knot on the end. So I actually knit this for my 16 year old son, whose head is actually bigger than yours. Wow. I think it's because he has hair. Because yeah, he's a 24 inch head. It is, I'll admit, it is a little bit snug on Asher's 24 inch head. So we probably just need to sh cut his hair and then it will fit fine. But he wears it, he likes it. So if you would like a beadless version of that same hat, this is the Happy And You Know, or no, sorry, that's the Happy And You Know It. This is the Beadless Gnome. It is, I think, a $2.50 on my Ravelry. So if you're interested in supporting my budding designer career. Also, if any of your sons are fans of the Zelda video game series, it is very akin to Link's hat. That's why he loves it, because yeah, it reminds he wanted a him green of, one. of that character. So. so the special features about this hat, it is knit in reverse stockinette. So the pearl side of your fabric is the public side and the stockinette side is the private side but you knit it wrong side out in the round both of them you knit wrong side out so that you're not purling the whole hat you're knitting um, if it's a solid color you don't purl at all if you do the two-tone version you do have to purl except for the ribbing there's purling in the ribbing but you do have to purl one round in order to get a smooth color transition but otherwise it's um, very little purling and then it does have like a textured panel where the beads are on this hat, there's a textured panel that gives some shaping to the brim and kind of pulls it up in the front and down in the back so it covers your ears without like being over your eyebrows. But yeah, I'm very proud of my first two designs. They are for sale in my Ravelry store. I think it's just called Katie Brohard Designs. I'll put a link about it in the description box below. So those are the first two things I finished this month. I have also finished a fair few Ah, socks. <coughs> Pardon the cough. We've all had a cough for like two months. So I did finish um, some Christmas socks for my dad and my stepmom who were here uh, just before Christmas in the early part of December actually. So for my stepmother I made um, Grinchmas socks from Night Owl Fibers out of some leftover yarn I had from a pair I knit myself several months ago and some red Knit Picks Stroll Glimmer. And she already has them and is hopefully wearing them and enjoying them. But here is a picture of those socks for you. 
And then for my dad, I made socks out of Zitrin Trekkie hand art yarn in Fjordland 501. That's the colorway. And I did both of their socks on my sock machine. But one thing I noticed, so this pair of socks for my dad, which I'll have to put a picture in because he already has them and is hopefully wearing them and loving them. Um, I tried to knit him a pair of socks out of that yarn last Christmas and it did not work. I could not get it to work. It was too thick and too tight and it just wouldn't work and I put it away and was sad. After a year of using my sock machine, I pulled that same yarn out again and I got a pair of socks without any trouble. So if you have some yarn on a sock machine that is giving you a little trouble, sometimes it might just be an experience thing and once you know more about it, you may be able to get, um, sorry, our dogs are sitting around the floor with us. You may be able to get a better sock, so don't stress about it. Roxanne wants to say hello. Come here, baby girl. Can you say hi? This is my dog, Roxy. Come on. Those of you who watch the <laughs> box knitting at the Boxerville Homestead, you will recognize her. She is a rescue pup that was featured um, on that YouTube channel. And if you don't watch knitting at the Boxerville Homestead, you absolutely need to go check her out. Carol is a hoot and a half. I love watching her videos. Come here, Roxy. Come on. Get up and make sure we can all see you. I oh, can see her. <laughs> she's a big girl. Yes, she is. So, yes. She, she thinks any minute not spent um, next to me is wasted. Or dead. She likes you too. Yeah. All right. Let's see. What else have I finished? Oh, so I finished those two <laughs> pair of socks for my mom and my dad. And then I also made these so socks on my CSM in the summer, I think it's a summer day colorway in the Bouncy Boo yarn by the Fiber Lady. And there's a whole video about making these socks. These socks are 100% bamboo. I think, or maybe they're bamboo and nylon. I can't remember off the top of my head. But I'd never done anything remotely like bamboo on my sock machine. So there's a whole video on knitting bamboo socks on my sock machine. I think it's called an all new fiber. I'll put a link to that video up here if I can figure out how. You should have called it a whole new fiber. A whole new fiber? I called it a, a new fiber. A whole new world. Oh, <laughs> I didn't think of that. Where were you when I was editing that video? I don't know. Let's see, what else did I finish? Oh, I also have a video for these. These are for my husband I made on the sock machine. These were out of the Hot Springs Fiber Company Sock Club um, Crab Dip or something like that um, was the colorway. She's not doing the Sock of the Month Club anymore, but there's also a video with these socks because I knit the cuffs by hand because he likes a ribbed cuff and I, I, I still can't work my ribber. Don't know if I'll ever be able to work my ribber. Um, Maybe someday. But anyway, so I have a whole video showing how to pick up and knit hand knit cuffs on your socks. These don't look too bad considering he was wearing them and I picked them up off our bedroom floor. Oh yeah. Nice thing about wool, they don't even stink. Thanks, no. <laughs> so wool is a great I only wore them for a couple of hours in the evening before I went to bed, so. Yeah, and this is like the month of socks because I have one more pair of socks done. So this is also from the Hot Springs Fiber Company Sock of the Month box that they, she doesn't do anymore but this was called the ultimate layer dip sock so the stripes all represent like a seven layer bean dip yeah like the layers on your bean dip so you have the olives and the beans which are like the black and brown cheese sour cream sour salsa. cream cheese red onions um, avocados salsa lime i don't know what else i don't actually eat most of those foods <laughs> I no, cheese and beans um and I don't make this dip, but the socks are awesome. So last time I showed you, I had knit all the way down to here. So since last month, I have finished the toe and knit the mate. And everywhere I go, people ask about these. These are some, of, I think, the coolest socks. And I've never knit a pair with a fold-over cuff, so I'm really digging the fold-over cuff. I haven't worn them yet. I just finished them yesterday. 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 So those are brand new done. Let's see, what else have I finished? Oh, 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 oh. I have been using an app. It's called the Row Counter app, and I found it in the Google Play Store. I had looked at using the one that, um, oh gosh, Knit Companion, the one that Knitty Natty talks about. I had looked into using Knit Companion, and I think if you are a iPhone user, it probably works really well. But I am an Android user. Sorry if that offends you. It's just the truth. We're an Android family. And the Knit Companion did not function well on the Android. And it was like $17, I don't know if that was a month or a year, I can't remember. It was $17 and it didn't work well. So I've been looking for something that worked better on my Android. And I settled on Row Counter app and I love it. 
I did wind up spending the $10 for a one-year subscription to their premium version because their non-premium version isn't really that useful, but the premium version I love. I use it all the time. I keep track of all of my rows and stuff. I do like to knit from a physical pattern, but sometimes when you're out and about, like yesterday when I was finishing those socks, we were at a friend's house for the day making gingerbread houses. I'll have to put a picture of the gingerbread houses for you because they were pretty funny. And we made tamales and lasagna and <laughs> tried played. fishing. It was too cold. Yeah, we fished in the cold. We played Joker. Did you play ever with us? Nope. Sorry, this that's another, another dog. dog. Sneak in. <laughs> we have three very big dogs. They may join us on the floor. This is the first time we've ever filmed on the floor. We had the fireplace going for the season, yeah, so it's pretty. that'd be a nice change. Uh, but anyways, we were at their house all day yesterday, and having my pattern on the row counter app on my phone was just so much more convenient than trying to carry around a physical paper copy while we were out and about. It also lets you make notes on your... Yes. I, I can literally like physically write on the screen notes or um, I can put reminders in so that as I'm clicking off rows, when I get to a certain row, a reminder will pop up for me and um, I can type in my own reminder. I really like it. But one of the fun things is it has a chat forum and in the chat forums, they did a Secret Santa. So I did Secret Santa. That's all of this to tell you. I did Secret Santa with my row counter app. And I, um, you, you were assigned a person to send a gift to, and then you would receive a gift. So I sent to my Secret Santa a, a scarf that I made on my CSM. And it was a shorter scarf. You could tie it around your head, and it made a really nice double-layered ear warmer. Or you could just wear it right around your neck, and it did a real, a real nice close neck scarf. But I'll put in a picture of that because it has already gone off to the person who won my Secret Santa. I think her name was Marley Jean. So that went to her, and I finished that this month. <laughs> he really wants... Hunter wants, is Hunter's old my boy. and blind, and he loves his daddy. We have no, I don't think we have any whole dogs. All of our dogs have something wrong with them. <laughs> Hunter, sit. No. Uh. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Hunter, for that. He's got <clears throat> slobber all over his nose. Yeah. He, he's just, they're both excited we're down in the floor. Nope. We're not I told you this. we were going to have to put them in the bedroom. Uh, uh, lay down. <laughs> all right. There you go. <coughs> Roxy, come here. Lay down. It's fine. Just lay down. Just be still. Oh, you no. can sit in my lap if you want. Just sit there. <laughs> yes, I know. She's jealous he got a kiss. Lay down. Good girl. <clears throat> All right. Sorry about that. <coughs> Thank you. She just sneezed on me. That was kind of gross. All right. Anyway, so I finished that. Uh, what else did I finish? Socks. I finished, yeah. I finished, I finished. I guess that's all that I finished. What about oh, my finish? Yeah, that's what I'm forgetting. <laughs> so after 20 years of marriage, we'll have our anniversary is January 3rd. We'll have been, we'll, we will have been married for 20 years on January 3rd. So 20 years of marriage and what, like eight years of watching me knit? He finally decided like maybe he should learn to knit. So this month he has learned to knit and he has some stuff to show you. Yep, yeah, well, for her birthday bash, I'm sure y'all already know, I took her on a homemade yarn crawl of my own design personal and yarn personal yarn crawl. And I um, found some yarn that I really liked and she said, well, my queue is full. So if you want something out of this, you're gonna have to learn to do it yourself. And I was like, yeah, I'll try. So- And he did. And I did. Um, I would show you my current project I'm working on, but I just frogged it because I kept adding rows. You, you added stitches. You're stitches. supposed to Sorry. add rows. <laughs> Sorry, stitches. I'm still getting the lingo down. <coughs> so about my first couple of projects were washcloths. She said that would be the easiest to do. Uh, and I did not pick this, although it reminds me of bacon. Yeah, so he was my, really excited about the my bacon, bacon washcloth. Cloth. Uh, it, it has a few holes in it, but that's okay. We're gonna ignore that. It works for cleaning dishes. And then there's the second one. It's slightly better, fewer holes and mistakes. And doesn't look as much like bacon for some It reason. doesn't. For some reason, that one just, I don't know. Do we We've, keep saying bacon? I've got a friend that. whose last name is Bacon, and I thought about giving him this one just because it's fun. <laughs> he would like that. He would. Uh, and then she gave me some scrubby, and I think, I don't know. They're about the same. The, one of them has one mistake in it, and the other one does not. So I eventually got it down where I wasn't making mistakes, but this scarf was a lot. I was learning so to his, rib. His, do you have the bag and with purling, you? and no, it's in the bedroom. Oh, because I don't remember the... 
the, the name pattern. of the pattern. Oh, yeah. Anyway, you want to I'll pause look, and... No, I'll yeah. look up the name of the pattern and I'll put it in for you. Anyways, it's very pretty, but it's got sections of ribbing and purling, and neither of which I've ever done before. And then you have to add okay, to... Okay, you've knit. You just haven't purled. But his purling was fine. I said ribbing and purling. I haven't done oh, before. Oh, ribbing, yeah. You haven't yes. done ribbing before. So anyways, and then you have to add a couple at the end and take away a couple at the end of the next row. And it, it's a lot to track. Um, so anyways, I just need to work on it more, I guess, before I can get it. Yeah, he got about, I don't know, eight rows in. Something like that. And he wanted to frog it because he was somewhere he's adding a stitch. I really couldn't tell where he's adding it. Um, it wasn't like usually no, when you added, add one. It added up throughout the entire row, so it got added on when I was adding the knits. I think I added an extra one or yeah, added four instead of three. Yeah, I think you might be having or, a yarn over. So you add, you turn one stitch into three at one point in the <clears> pattern, <throat> and you do that by knitting in the front, knitting in the back, and then knitting in the front again. If you're not moving your yarn in between the needles, if you accidentally move it over a needle, it'll add an extra stitch. So I, I think that's what he's doing, but I really couldn't tell just I think he's... sometimes when I'm purling, I'm bringing the yarn. Instead of going in front, I'm going behind, too, like I'm supposed to be knitting. Yeah. And so I don't know if that's make. I don't know. Anyway, don't he, he did well. He got about eight rows in, and then he didn't like the fact that it would jog whenever we'd have to take out an extra stitch. So or he's frogged it. He's going to start it over. But he's I don't like really the well. fact that I'm not getting the number of rows. Uh, he might be a type A knitter. <laughs> Perfectionist, is uh -huh. that what that is? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Probably, yeah. I'm usually the one undoing all of her knots, so that tells you anything. Yeah, I, I can't, when, when yarn gets knotted to me, that's like time for the funeral march, like I don't. I figured out where I picked up that skill though. Where? Fishing. Fishing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so if, you, if you're married to a fisherman, he can help you with those knots. <laughs> I have finished everything that I had going as of yesterday is either complete and done, or it's a, it's up to date. So I still have two blanket of knowledges that are going on for this year that I'm working on, and then the blanket of knowledge that ended in August, um, I still haven't got my graduation box, so I haven't been able to um, sew that one together yet. So those three blankets are still in progress, but they're all up to date as of December, like everything I can do is done. So I have nothing new on the needles this morning. So I got to cast something on today. So today I cast on a Tahoe hooded cow for my husband. Ta -da! So this is, I've knit one of these before. I've showed you it was blue and gold and yellow. No, blue and gold and Gray, white, white for my son um, that I kind of knit like a sample. And this is the one I'm knitting for my husband. So this one is going to be blue and gray and red and brown and navy. And yeah, I'm probably about a third of the way through it already. I'm hoping to finish it tomorrow so it'll be done before actual New Year's Day. Wow. They, they don't take that long because they're they on 13s the and like three strands of worsted weight yarn held together. So yeah, I got a lot. So blue and gray throughout. And then you alternate between the navy, the red, and the brown. And so all of this yarn that I'm currently working with on this cow, I bought on sale when Hot Springs Fiber Company had their big Black Friday sale. So this would be a very expensive cowl because I think I needed like two of the blue, two of the gray, and then one of the red, one of the brown, and one of the navy. So that's what, two, four, six, seven balls of yarn just for this one cowl. So getting them on the Black Friday sale was very helpful. So that's also kind of, it's a whip and an acquisition, but that's the only thing new that I've cast on. But I, that does bring us to Blanket of Knowledge, and I'll get you updated on that. So my Cabin in the Woods December colorway was called Into the Woods, and this is the pattern. And I've, already, I've done one block. I still need to do two more blocks, but I'm, that can be done in January. I'm not worried about that. That is the Cabin in the Woods block. And then I've already completely finished the um, Enchanted Stripe. And y'all have to put the name of the colorway on the screen because I can't remember it right now. But it is totally done already. The whole December Stripe and the black sash. So love, love, love this blanket so far. Look at it, it's so pretty. 
Ugh. Yeah, so my, my blanket of knowledge, I think I wasn't even finished with the pink. Do I have a stitch marker on here somewhere? Yeah, so this is where I was last month when I filmed. So I can move this up. You got halfway through the pink. Yeah, I was about halfway through the pink. This month I am all the way through the whole thing. There we go. So yay! And I love, love, love this zigzag. Very simple but very fun. And that is all I have as works in progress. Yeah, that is all I have. Sorry, I saw something in my bag and I was like, what is that? I know what that is. Never mind. That is all I have as works in progress right now. But I do have a fair few acquisitions to show you. So, one of the things <laughs> that I bought for myself was all, these little, like, shoestring or drawstring stoppers. They are my new favorite needle stoppers. So these are size six needles. If you get much bigger than maybe an eight, they don't work. But if you're using size eight needles or smaller, they are so awesome. And I went to buy some because my friend Sonia gave me three. Thanks, Sonia. And I was like, I need more of these in my life because I have a lot of things in progress at the same time usually. So I thought, I'll just buy some. So I went to buy some. And if you buy the knitting ones, they're like $8 each. But if you go to Amazon and just look up drawstring stopper and buy an assorted bag of 30, you can get 30 for $10. So that, that's the route I recommend. So yeah, I have like 30 of them. Love them. I have them on all my stuff. Sorry, did I whack you in the face? Almost did. You almost got my eye. <laughs> Spousal abuse. He looks like a henpecked husband, doesn't he? Oh yeah. <laughs> she doesn't feed me at all. <laughs> no, you feed yourself. You don't need me to do it. Mm -hmm. I can cook. Uh, you would, and he cooks better than I do. So that brings us to acquisitions. I have lots of acquisitions to talk about. So in addition to all that yarn for his cowl, and I bought a couple of extra balls also because I think I'm going to make us some mittens to, to match our cowls. He's getting a Tahoe hooded cowl, and so am I. So my cowl is going to be, these are going to be the two main colors. She got prettier colors than me. Yeah, well, I'm prettier than you. Yeah. <laughs> and my contrast colors are these right here. So that's going to be my cowl, which I'll cast on hopefully right as soon as I finish yours. Like I said, these these cowls only take, I think I knit Asher's in like two days. Yeah. Two or three days to knit because they're so thick. They take up a lot of yarn, but they're fast. So that was the rest of the, I literally cleaned Tracy out of Barocco Vintage after, um, Bla on Black Friday. I was Snoozy terrible. Lose. Um, I was like, I don't need any yarn. Oh look, Barocco Vintage for three bucks? I'll take all of it. <laughs> she sent me a box. <laughs> How big was that box? Like this big. It was a big box of yarn. I also got from Tracy during the Black Friday sale some Aracuna Papagayo yarn, enough to make a sweater, in the colorway 1012 Cuban Macaw. And I'll have to put a picture of it here because it is already um, deposited where I keep my sweater quantities of yarn. Oh, and that reminds me, I got two more Barocco vintage quantities of yarn also that aren't in these. Tahoe cow. So I have three new sweater quantities of yarn. I'm going to have to, you know, knit a sweater. <laughs> oh, easy come, easy go. <laughs> I'll put pictures of all three of those up here for you. And then, oh, and then my boys found some pictures of some hand knit socks that were animals. You found them, didn't you? I think so, yeah. So the, the acquisitions I'm about to show you, they are his fault. Totally my fault. Act like you love me. <laughs> there you go. Thanks. You're Clearly, welcome. we're back. <laughs> okay, so my husband was looking on, where did you find those things on? Etsy or Ravelry? I don't remember now. It's been too long. I was online and I saw them for sale. So it was probably Etsy. And then I found the ladies' patterns on Ravelry. She made, sold the patterns as well. And I said, ooh, yeah. these are cool. You need to make these for us. And she said, okay. Yep. So. And par for the course, I can't remember the names of the patterns or the name of the designer right this second. You'll put it in the video here. I'll have to put it up here. <laughs> <laughs> or the description. But my husband found these animal socks and decided that he had to have one. And then all of my kids except one wanted them. So for next Christmas, because it's going to take me a year to hand knit six pairs of socks, we're all getting animal socks. So this pair is for my 
not my, I don't want to say adopted. I didn't adopt him. A college no. student that we let hang out with us a lot. <laughs> he picked this yarn here He's, and the crocodile socks. He's not an exchange student. <coughs> he, he, no. he lived in Japan, moved to U.S. to go to college, and doesn't have any family nearby. Yeah, so nearby. We, so, you know, we brought him in for Thanksgiving, and then Christmas, and then the summer, and then Thanksgiving, and now Christmas again. <laughs> and, and every other weekend, whenever he yeah. just wants to get eat away food for a that's minute. not dorm food. Yeah. <laughs> or ramen. <laughs> no, he eats ramen while he's here, too. Does he? There you go. So, anyway, so that will be his. And I'll put a picture of the socks, like, from the pattern, too, so you can see what they're going to look like. The crocodile socks. And then my youngest son, Judah, wants oxalotl socks. In blue, he wants a blue oxalot. Minecraft Apparently, style. Yeah, there's a Minecraft one that's blue. And then my oldest son is getting the platypus. And these are the exact Knit Picks yarn and in the exact colors that the original pattern is in. Because of... Oh. Detective platypus? Some kind of no. detective platypus. Yeah, well, it's a cartoon. Uh, I wish I could remember his name. I even follow the guy, the creator, online. But anyways... And then my younger middle child wants a snake that'll be in brown and green. And then my older middle child doesn't want socks. He, he wants me to knit him mittens. Um, so I have a pattern on the CSM for double, double thick fingerless mitts that like have a, they don't, they get like, they don't, they're kind of like twisted. I haven't, I need to explore them so I understand how they're exactly made. But they're, they're like twisted, so you can just kind of shake them and they hang over your hand, and then you can pull them down like peeling a banana and your fingers stick out. So he wants a pair of those, so that's what he's getting instead of socks. And then I am gonna have the fish, one of the, they have two different fish, and I'm gonna have the fish that's orange. And I don't have the second color yet because Knit Picks was out, so I'll have to get that. And then he is gonna get a hybrid version that's going to be the crocodile pattern, but not a crocodile. It's going to be a black and white snake. So if you've seen Beetlejuice, you know exactly which snake I'm talking about. <laughs> it's a snake with big, gnarly, alligator-type triangle teeth, and it's black and white striped with, uh, I think the inside of the mouth is kind of red. Red, yeah. Yeah, so... Uh, I don't think I can do the inside of the mouth red. You just do above the teeth red. Oh, okay, I can do that. Yeah, yeah, so... Um, yeah, a little gruesome, but I like it. Yeah, so all of this yarn that I also bought during the Black Friday sale from Knit Picks, that was his fault. Yeah, that was my fault. <laughs> he takes blame so nicely. <coughs> Excuse my cough. All right, let's see, what else have I bought? Mm, oh, so I have to knit two more happy and you know it hats because when my dad and stepmom were here, they saw my hat and James's hat and they wanted some for next Christmas. So I have some more Elsabeth Lavalde Silky Wool in red and green. Can you help me out there? And white. So my dad and Jossie are going to have arm. red and white for my dad and green and white for my, my, um, my other mother. And then these are the beads I got, silver beads to go in their hats. So I will be starting these fairly soon. I mean, obviously, I, there was no way I was going to get them done in time for this Christmas. Um, but I probably will get them done in the beginning of the year because I know Dad wants his um, sooner rather than later. So I am knitting it's our Texas. towels it first. Doesn't stay very cold and it. No, for very but it'll long. still be cold for a couple months. I know. But I'm gonna finish our cowls first and our mittens first, just because I just knit three of these hats and it's my own pattern and I love it. But I can knit something else for a little bit. But I'll knit those again. So I got that. For Christmas, Tracy sent me this. This is her um, cabin, no, campfire colorway from the Blanket of Knowledge for Slow Burn. And she just sent me one of them because it's a pretty orange and she knows orange is my favorite color. So I don't know what I'm gonna do with this yet, but whatever I do will be pretty. And then I told you about uh, My Secret Santa. So I sent a gift to My Secret Santa and My Secret Santa sent a gift to me and they are so cute. She crocheted me a little snowman and a little gingerbread man. And oh my goodness, I cannot think of her row counter app name right now. Texting. Uh... I'll have to write it, but thank you so much 
to my row counter app, Secret Santa. I love my little amigurumi. Is that how you say that? You crocheters out there will know. This is this kind of stuff makes me really wish I could crochet because these things are so stinking cute. They're just I love them. So that was an acquisition, and let's see. That is everything. Oh, I got a Christmas present. Was this from you or from the boys? It all comes from the same wallet. <laughs> from my husband and sons. I got the book Knitting the National Parks. This has some of the coolest hat patterns. A lot of them are color work, which is not the thing I'm best at, but I want to get better at it. But there are several that are just stripes or solid color with cable patterns. We already looked through it and marked all of the parks that we've actually been to, which I think is like six or seven. There's 63 apparently national parks represented in this book. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You can find the book on seven. Amazon. I've been to Ooh. eight of them. Who, who, who's the writer? This is by Nancy Bates. Knitting the National Parks. Yeah. So I'm super excited. Just looking at this book and reading it was fun. It talks a little bit about each of the parks and then shows you a picture of the hat and the season that it was when the hat colors were inspired and gives you tips for like changing the colors for different seasons or getting different effects. So I have enjoyed this book a lot. Even though I haven't knit any of these yet, I have lots of plans too. I like to knit hats. I have a husband that likes to wear hats, so that works out well. I'm bald. <laughs> you should show everybody. I'm good. Oh, well, I guess I <laughs> now you've uncovered the sweaty head. <laughs> so that is all the things that I have got, and I do have some things to share with Here, wait, you. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> You're a <coughs> Okay, so I have two announcements to make for people who have... Um, one things from the last couple of episodes. So the first thing I have to share is the Rich Mountain Fiber Company um, yarn from the Yarn Trails back in August. It comes in this really cute little bag and it has, I gave you guys one of those little fun needle keepers. I don't know, needle keepers. Slash pull string, pull st drawstring. drawstring. I put one of those on there for you. And then this is the yarn, just so you remember. It's beautiful, beautiful yarn. And as along with that, James made a couple of knitting needle bracelets oh, for Duck you. Potato. Sorry, Mr. Duck Potato made some knitting needle bracelets for you. So you got a pair of those. And then there's a couple of stitch markers from Hot Springs Fiber Company. There's a motorcycle, some cherries, and I think this is like a lime wedge. So I have a winner to announce for this. The winner of this um, gift is going to be Die to Knit. And I'll put the um, drawing up here for you so you can see it. But congratulations to Die to Knit. If you will email me at the email in the description box down below, I will get your, your gift sent out to you. I'm so happy to be able to share this with you. And then I have another winner to announce. If you watch my CSM channel, I have a different playlist that focuses more on my sock machine, but I do have um, giveaways on that channel from time to time as well. And in the video with an all new fiber, we decided to give away one of these that were donated by Hot Springs Fiber Company for my viewers to win. So I have four different options. The winner will get to choose the one of their choice. There's dark blue, light blue, green and yellow, or red. Red and black, isn't it? It's got other colors. They have. They all have more than all multiple gated. colors, but yeah, like red and black. And so the winner of this um, prize is Noreen Lou. I'll put your information up here. And if you would email me below with your address and tell me which color you want, because you're only getting one, but you get to pick. Tell me which color you want, I will get that to you. Now I have more things to share with you viewers who are watching now. So this is upcoming things. <laughs> I am going to share with you guys a copy of my brand new powder pattern 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 powder pattern a copy of my brand new pattern um, happy and you know it 
along with this ball of Babu, which is 100% bamboo, 25% alpaca, and 25% merino wool, and some silver beads. So everything you need to make this hat. The beaded version. The beaded version, yeah. And I will also provide you with a bead needle. I just don't have it to show right now. It's, it's coming my way. So this winner, the per if you would like to be the lucky person to get this kit in order to make your own version of a hat. Go visit her Etsy shop. <laughs> yeah, it's not an Etsy shop. Oh, sorry, it's Ravelry. a Ravelry shop. Yeah, you could visit my Ravelry store. That would be great. But you're going to get the pattern for free if you win. So You don't have to buy it. I'm just saying go visit it. Go drive, visit it. Yeah. Drive, up the drive up the traffic. Put it in your queue. <laughs> there you go. Go down below. Tell me that you put my pattern in your queue. You don't actually have to do it. I'm not going to go verify it. But tell me that you did. <laughs> and that will enter you to win this. I will announce the winner for this um, in episode 21 in February. Thank you. So that is the first thing I have to share. The next thing I have to share. So I have been hanging out a lot at Hyatt Springs Fiber Company and I've met a really sweet woman named Laura. And Laura is friends with Kathleen Fuller. So if you don't know who Kathleen Fuller is, she is an author and she has written a, a good many books. Uh, I, I've been, in the last month or two, probably about two and a half, introduced to some of her books. So I read her four books that were like, um, you know, PG romance novels about people in a small town in Arkansas and a knit shop that they had. And I read all four of the ones that were centered around the knit shop and I really enjoyed them. Um, I think they were called, let's see, Much Ado About a Latte. That's the only one I can think of the name of right now, but there were four of them. I'll put the names of them up here. They were really fun reads and I enjoyed them. So I told Laura, you know, I really enjoyed um, reading these books and she was like, oh, I'll let my friend Kathleen know. So she talked to Kathleen who started emailing me and then Kathleen and I, we've never actually met. But we have been emailing each other back and forth ever since. And Kathleen decided that she wanted to gift you guys some books. So I have two books here that I'll be giving away. A Double Dose of Love and Matched and Married. These are the first two of a trilogy. There's actually a third one called Love in Plain Sight that all go together that are written by Kathleen Fuller. And I have read both of these and the third one and I really enjoyed them. So you guys are in for a treat. But she, I've got these first two books and she signed them for you. And I'm gonna be giving these away along with some stickers, just knitting and crochet related stickers. I think there's three of them. Two, yep, like this. And of course, a needle keeper, because I told you, these are great. And then a whole bunch of stitch markers. I'll put a picture in so you can see them close up that are knitting and yarn and sewing adjacent. So this, this, um, maybe they should comment romance. Okay. If you would like to win this, you will need to comment romance. Now this is a short term giveaway. I'm going to be announcing the winner in my state of the knitter address, which will come out sometime around, um, January 20th. So the deadline for entering that for this drawing is going to be January uh, 16th. You need to comment romance. You could tell me a romantic story if you have one. Like if, you're, if your significant other did something romantic for you at some point, you could tell me about it. Or tell me an anniversary story. Oh, I just thought if they wanted to enter both, they could leave two comments, one romance and one uh, for the other. Oh. So then that way you can split it up in the comment thing. Uh, you would have to write, you would have, you to, have to write hashtag romance. romance. Oh, hashtag romance in order to do that. And honestly, I don't know if I know how, so. Don't worry about it. Then. Yeah, if you comment it at all, you're gonna get entered because I'm too lazy to go back and actually read your comment to make sure you did what I asked, to be perfectly honest with you. <laughs> so if you just say <laughs> on the comments, it gets entered. <laughs> I don't know how you'd spell that. <coughs> yeah, I don't either. Um, but truth be told, but I like to read your comments and I try really hard to respond to everyone. So I would love to hear if you're interested in reading this, the deadline for entering will be January 15th. I will announce the winner in my State of the Knitter address, which will come out sometime at, between the 20th, around the 20th of January. And if you would like to win the um, Happy and Genomic kit, what did we say to comment? Oh, Q. Comment that you, you visit it, go visit my design thing and, and tell me that you put it in your Ravelry queue. Yeah, so that's, 
That'll be, this one will be drawn um, toward the end of January. Let's see, 30 days, half September, April, June, and November, all the way. So January is 31 days. Yeah. So let's say by January 29th, I, I will probably. Top knuckles 31, end dents 30, January, February, March, April, May, June, July. Oh, well, that works too. Now you guys know how to figure out what months have what number <clears> of days. <throat> Except February doesn't have 30. No, it doesn't have 30, but it's a lower, so you know it's less. Oh, okay, gotcha. Anyway, we digress. <laughs> so the deadline for this one is January 15th. The deadline for this one is January 29th. If you are interested in sharing some of these goodies with me, please comment below. Tell your friends about my channel. You don't want people to know about my channel? What are you laughing at? Just the sharing thing. <laughs> I'm not supposed to say giveaway. I keep getting told, don't say giveaway because bots and spammers will attack your channel. So... Um, we're sharing. We're sharing, but I forget sharing and I say caring. the G word anyway, so I try to remember to say sharing though. So. Um, definitely You want stuff, we give you stuff. If the email doesn't come from the email that's in the description box down below, it's not me. I'm not going to comment you or contact you in any other way. So, you know, um, I cannot be responsible for people who abuse the system. So make sure it's me that you're talking to. Fair enough. So there you go. I think I showed you everything. That was a lot. This felt, I felt like a long episode. But it was nice to have you do it with me. So I hope you had a very Merry Christmas. I hope you have a very Happy New Year. I am looking forward to 2024. And I'm going to, do you want to pray or should I? No, would you. Okay. I'm going to say, in, I'm going to close this in prayer and I will talk to you guys in a few weeks. Heavenly Father, I thank you for the last year and all the blessings that you have seen fit to bestow. I thank you for your mercy, for being faithful even when we are not, and for always being with me as I go through life. I thank you for the growth of this channel, and may I continue to use my YouTube channel to your glory and to praise you. Thank you for your son Jesus and the salvation that you provide through him. And in his most precious name we pray, amen. Amen. That's all. That's all, folks. <laughs> I got some B-roll for you. <laughs> <laughs>